but have you ever found yourself starving at home with nothing to eat? I know I've found myself in this situation countless of times until I learned how to make eggs in a basket. Since then, I'm always well fed. In order to make these, you will need to gather your ingredients, prepare, prepare those ingredients, and finalize and cook them. So before you begin cooking this delicious treat, you will first need to gather the materials. Begin by gathering your ingredients. You will need a slice of bread. The standard portion is one piece, but you can get as many pieces as you feel you can eat. And it doesn't matter on the type of bread you use. It can be wheat, white, sourdough. You will also need an egg for a slice of bread. And then butter will also be required. You can use oil as a substitute, but it tends to make it harder and crispier. Salt and pepper can also be gathered. Then you will need to gather the utensils. You will need a butter knife, a cup with the standard rim size about this big, and also a frying pan. The frying pan doesn't necessarily have to be non-stick, but it's preferable since it will be easier to cook the bread on. And the size of the frying pan does not really matter as long as it's able to hold at least one slice of bread. You will also need a spatula and lastly a plate to serve the, the meal on. After gathering both your ingredients and utensils, you can go to preparing those ingredients. You will need to begin by preparing the slice of bread. Using your cup, make a hole in the center of the bread, like this. And then remove the excess bread. This one didn't work so well, but that's about how it should turn out. Then, using your butter knife, you want to spread butter on both sides of the bread. This is so that when you fry the bread, it gets golden brown on, on both sides. Like I mentioned before, you can use oil instead of butter, but it tends to make it harder. So depending on what you like more, it's up to you. You will then need to prepare your egg. Crack the, crack the egg and pour it into the cup. You will use a fork to stir it until it gets yellow and you use the same cup so that, well, you avoid washing more things. Then put uh, pepper or salt into the cup with the egg, depending on what kind of flavor you want to make it. Lastly, you will need to prepare your frying pan. Using your butter knife, cut off a tablespoon of butter and put it onto the pan. This butter will allow the bread to uh, cook thoroughly and avoid sticking to the pan. It also, it also acts as a way to avoid sticking. Then put the pan onto the stove and turn on the fire. Now that the fire is on, it's time to cook the ingredients. You must first cook the bread. Using your spatula, press down on the bread every so often. This is so that they can be turned into a golden brown finish. Keep in mind to avoid overcooking the bread due to the fact that it will need to stay on the frying pan longer when you add the egg to the bread. Do not press down too hard with the spatula for that will allow the butter to leak out and it will not get to its desired finish. Remember to put the bread occasionally on both sides to cook both of them. Then you will need to cook your egg. Pour the egg from the cup into the hole in the bread and wait about 30 seconds before flipping to the other side. You wait the 30 seconds in order for the egg to cook enough so that when you flip it, the yolk does not pour out. The 30 seconds is not an exact time limit, but more of an estimation. So you want to flip it whenever the raw egg is cooked enough so that it will not spill. Finally, you can serve your eggs in a basket using your spatula to get it onto the plate. You can add a little more salt or pepper depending on how you want it to taste. And now, you're completely done. You have just learned how to make eggs in a basket. You must remember to gather your ingredients, prepare those ingredients, and then cook everything together. There is nothing better than a simple and tasty treat, especially when you make it yourself. So next time you're at home with nothing to eat, you'll know exactly what to make. Eggs in a basket. Thank you. Yay!